A total of 120 terrorists have surrendered to Russian forces in the city of Aleppo, northwestern Syria. The terrorists have been evacuated and made available to the Russian forces that support the Syrian army in its fight against terrorism. The source added that the extremists decided to lay down their weapons after Syrian forces broadcast a large number of videos and pamphlets inciting them to surrender. In a similar action, 177 terrorists surrendered to the Syrian army Wednesday in a town in the north of the province of Homs after signing an amnesty decree that protects them from being tried, in exchange for handing over weapons. Terrorists surrender to advances of Hezbollah and Syrian army. Lightning advances by the Syrian army in Hezbollah on the Syrian-Lebanese border force a large number of terrorists to surrender in Arsal, northeastern Lebanon. On February 5, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad extended an amnesty decree until the end of June for armed men to surrender and lay down their arms. This comes after the Syrian army has made significant progress in its fight against terrorist bands and so-called rebels. During the last weeks, it has surrounded the extremists in two areas of the province of Deir al-Zur, east, and Hama, center-west. Iraqi forces have evicted the day's terrorists from 90% of the city of Tal Afar, one of the last Takfiri's strongholds in the north of the country. The Iraqi army and the popular mobilization units deal a heavy blow to the Islamic State terrorist group. They have virtually taken control of the city of Tal Afar, located on the route of supplying terrorists between Syria and Iraq. The small town located 70 kilometers north of Mosul in the north of the country became the new terrorist stronghold after the liberation of Mosul in July. The offensive for his release began on August 20. Iraqi officials believe their full recovery will be announced shortly. The conquest of Tal Afar is an important stage in the fight against Daesh due to its strategic location. Iraqi officials say the seizure of this city would further complicate the passage of weapons and terrorists between Iraq and Syria. Since the start of the offensive, some 10,000 people have left Tal Afar, which housed some 300,000 souls in the years prior to 2014. Now many families are anxiously awaiting the news of the liberation of their city.